Unbelievable. Earl Tatum. Unbelievable. Survived hell on earth. Oh, we knew he was gone. We just didn't know when. The Chesterfield man is one of only a few veterans still living who witnessed two of the bloodiest battles in American history. The 95-year-old was part of the 2nd Marine Division, which fought the Japanese across the Pacific. World War II. The high school dropout from Alabama joined the Marines when he was just 16. He's got it ready. A few months later, in August of 1942, Mr. Tatum found himself on the island of Guadalcanal. Stretcher bearer and message carrier. Earl pulled wounded Marines away from the front lines under withering fire. I felt them whizzing by. Well, the first thing you do is take that red cross off your shoulder. Oh, it's too good a target. There were too many close calls to count. One tried to stick a bayonet in me. I just pulled the trigger on my rifle. The battle 8,000 miles away from Virginia raged for five months. Guadalcanal dragged out. Then, in late 1943, Earl waded ashore on Tarawa in chest-deep water. We lost about it. A third of our people going in the first day. Dead Marines bloodied the water. Floating around like leaves. Four days later, more than 1,000 Marines and more than 4,000 Japanese were dead. Nobody had seen anything like it. That's a lot of good friends. Huh? Won't I was here again. Mr. Tatum returned to Hawaii. He survived the fighting, but barely lived through bouts with disease-carrying mosquitoes. I had 12 visits to the hospital for malaria. Earl is a true American hero. Jim Treesler with the Virginia War Memorial says Mr. Tatum is a rare breed who should be celebrated. It's a miracle that he's here with us at all. You know that that. The things he has seen and experienced are so different than anybody that's alive today. 75 years after the official end of World War II, Earl Tatum reflects on his service. That's a long time. The boy who joined the war effort is thankful to have played a small role in America's victory. I'm very happy that I became a Marine. Following his service with the Marine Corps, Earl Tatum returned to the U.S. and earned his high school diploma and then worked for many years at Brown and Williamson Tobacco in Petersburg. For Heroes Among Us, I'm Greg McQuaid, CBS 6 News.